Okay guys, it is time. <laughs> um, we are going to start renovating, kind of. We're gonna start taking down the cabinets and bring them over to my mom's house because there's air conditioning there. And it's a lot cooler in her garage than it is over here. Um, and we're gonna start painting the cabinets and potentially taking these down eventually and we need to figure out how to get this table out um, it's a pedestal table and we have watched so many videos we can't figure out how to get it off so we're gonna try to figure out a way to get it out um, and start taking these cabinets off to start painting also we've never renovated trailers before so <laughs> bear with us as bear with us as we figure it out and start transforming this place into our home. first we're just labeling each of the cabinets so we do not forget what goes where so we have the kids putting tape on all the cabinets <laughs> So what all did you have to do? Um, there's a lot of, a lot of screws. There's a lot of screws? Lot so you had to take the top off first? The top off. And then the pedestal. If you look at the, the pedestal is just screwed down in. So screw that off. It'll come out of the base. This is just sitting in between. The pressure of having this pushed down holds the middle part down. And then in these corners, this trailer is a little older, so like I couldn't see the screw heads, but there's screws in there because there was just like dirt and whatever crumbs under there in there. But there was a Phillips head screw in there. Screw those out. I am nice empty space. And now imagine desk. So build a desk Yay. that's large enough that the kids could still eat dinner at. Yep. They can do homeschool at. There's an outlet right here, which is perfect because we'll just screw like a half moon or drill like a half moon in the back and put a tower up here so we can charge and. Okay, guys. So we are officially ready to start painting. Um, yeah. We're doing it like room by room. Yeah. So we're gonna do the main area first, where the. Where the boys are so excited where the like the couch the dinette was and the kitchen we took all the cabinets off to bring them here so that it's a little we're bit cooler in here I'm um and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we're using i've what? never done this before i'm just going based off of what i've researched and what i've seen other people use and then i'm just gonna like time lapse me painting and getting this done all right let's go 
so I'm gonna show you what I'm using. I just got this little roller. Um, it says ceilings and walls, but I just needed this size roller, so I got that. And then I just got these cabinet, um, cabinets and doors rollers to go with that. Picked up the Easy Liquid Sander and Deglosser. Instead of having to sand all of these cabinets and then it'll get rid of whatever um, dirt, grime, and um, um, gloss and all that is on there. You just need gloves, obviously, with that. Then for the bottom cabinets, I found this on sale. It's usually like $53 and it was this blue color that we are wanting to do on the kitchen island. And um, I've been doing a lot of research on priming. I didn't want to prime, but with um, RVs and stuff like that, paint does not like to stick to the wood um, and it'll just peel right off. So I went and I got the Kills primer because make sure you get an oil-based primer. That way it will stick to the wood really well and your paint that you put on top will stick to the primer. Then finally for the white, I got the Valspar Perfect White paint and primer um, for doors, trims, and accents. So I think this will be perfect. I did use um, Bare Premium or Bare Premium Plus on the walls in the other camper. Um, and I loved it. We just happened to be at Lowe's and this is what I picked up. So let's get to painting. <laughs> you guys it is day two of painting um, yesterday I wasn't able to get as much done as I wanted because I started I got a late start so it is like 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna get these cabinets painted I think I'm gonna do two coats of primer I'll show you what one coat looks like um, I think I'm gonna do two coats because I just don't want to have to touch up or paint like I just want it to be good from the start you know so it lasts um also wanted to mention that this is a process <laughs> um I mean I knew what we were getting into when we started but like along with like having to take care of three small people and do this at the same time it's a lot so it's broken okay but anyway we're so excited i cannot wait to see it all together we still have to go and prime and paint the inside of the rv but it's coming together so let's get painting also can we just talk about this is what it looked like for the past two days <laughs> okay so i wanted to show you guys the difference between one coat of primer and two coats of primer i know it's a lot of extra steps but when painting the actual paint on here, it's gonna make it a lot simpler and it's just gonna make it look better. So I just wanted to show you these all, well, those three up there and this one has two coats of primer and this one and this one has one. Okay, I have the first coat of the actual paint. It is now 214. I've been painting since eight o'clock this morning, or maybe even probably eight o'clock this morning. So, um, this is where we're at. I'm gonna put one more coat um, of the actual paint on there, and we will see where we're at. I also wanted to mention, I am painting the back of these two. The same process, just on the back. I just figured you guys didn't want to watch me paint for 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, so my last check-in for the day, because it is now 346 so they all whoop. okay piece of wood just fell okay they all 
they they all have two coats of paint on the front and the back i am gonna get some um caulk just to fill in like these areas right here um and then probably give the fronts one more coat of paint i know it is what it is but we're getting there okay checking in one last time <laughs> Um, so this is what the cabinets look like with the caulk and the paint. Um, I know it's a lot of extra work, but it just looks so much better. Um, okay. And then this, I know this looks crazy right now, but this is the color that we chose for the kitchen island. And you guys, I'm obsessed with it. But it takes forever and a day to dry, so I think I'm going to end this reno video here and then start a new one and check in with you guys when we start painting the inside of the RV. Okay guys, so that is it for this part of the renovation series. I foresee this being <laughs> quite a long series, so I hope you guys are ready for it and excited about it. I'm sure at some point I'll be tired of painting, um, but Next time we're gonna be painting inside. So we're gonna be painting these and all of that and that and everything. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you have any questions about like what we're using or how we're doing it, um, just let me know. I tried to put the whole process of what we're doing just in case you guys wanna to try to do this too. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.